Hello everyone. Today I have for you a, a haul. It's a pretty big haul. So some of these things I bought for myself. Some of them uh, people gave to me. Some of, some of them I bought to do uh, videos with. And some of, some of them I bought to give as gifts to nieces and nephews and my grandson. Anyway, I'm going to get right into it because it's a pretty big haul. The first thing is this Build Your Own 3D Puzzle. It's a retro car. I uh, don't know what kind of car it's supposed to be. It just says retro car. It's I got it for four ninety nine. I got this in Branson at the Grand Country Square store. So I thought this would be a pretty cool little uh, thing to make a video with. This item my daughter bought me at Daiso. She went to San Francisco last summer and she knows I like to put these together. So she saw this and bought it for me. It's called Petite Block. It's like the mini Legos. It's an owl. It'll be fun to put together. And this is, uh, I love collecting tiny items. And I like um, the Harry Potter books. And this is Newt Scamander. It's a die cast little metal figure. I'll put him in my shadow box. This is a Sum Sum, a Sum, Sum Disney character. Of course, I got it at Fred's for $2.99, but it's when Fred's was, was going out of business. And they had a huge sale, so I think I ended up getting it for like 50 cents. With something sticky on it. So, I have a bunch of other, uh, well, not a bunch. I have several more packages of these that I'll open at that time. This I got in Branson at, uh... Uh, the Mid-American Museum. It's like a kid's museum. It's a different type of puzzle. It's kind of like Lego, but can you see the blocks? And it's supposed to make a llama. I've never seen this type, so I thought it'd be interesting to put together. I don't know how well we'll do, but we'll sure give it a shot. Here's another die cast. This is uh, Argus Filch from the Harry Potter series. I got several of them because I ended up getting these on sale for like, I think it was 50 cents or 75 cents somewhere. I don't remember where. This is Albus Dumbledore. I don't even remember how many I've got. This is Lord Voldemort with his snake. This is Hermione Granger. Uh, this is a Dementor. They're pretty good uh, cast. Let's see. Oh, this is a little Harry Potter Lego set. That'll be fun putting together. This is a Lego City. I think it's just a guy in a car. Here's 
here's another one of those uh, 3D motorized things. This one's a, a scooter, like a Vespa. Oh, I see what's leaking out. It's a shampoo from somewhere. I probably got this at a, picked this up at a hotel. Here's the lotion that goes with it. I don't remember which hotel. And this is the, some more shampoo. Light tea and honey. It smells good. Let's see if I can put it here. Oh, good. Here's the cap to it. These are good to throw in your bag when you're traveling. So you don't have to take... I usually pick them up. You don't have to take them uh, a big bottle with you. Or if you're going camping or something, these are good to, whoop, these are good to take with you. Let's see. This is Ron Weasley. This red hair. This is just a, some little potted plants I thought were cute. Would be cute in a shadow box. I love tiny things. Can you see? Oh. Uh, let's see. Here's a tiny Pac Man pop keychain. I thought he was cute. Back in the 80s, when I was a teen, it was when Pac-Man came out, and it was all the rage. My box got tore up, but it doesn't matter, because I'm going to put him in the shadow box, too. Here's a little toaster. It has little pieces of bread, too. Let me see. It's cute. This is die cast. Here's another Lego. This is a man with a, a hot dog stand. I got this. I thought it was cute because I actually have a friend who runs a hot dog stand. His name is uh, Robert. So when I make this, I'll, I'll name this little man Robert. <laughs> And here's some, my daughter got these for me at, um, oh, Daiso also. Here it is right here. She knows I love erasers because, uh, the, uh, the erasers are usually in shapes of many items. So this looks like it's like ramen noodles in this one. Probably just supposed to be different types of ramen noodles. So that's all of that bag. Put this all back in here. And we'll go to the next bag. This was a, uh, I went to Walmart and they had a huge clearance uh, section. And if you do any kind of coloring or um, drawing, any any type of art thing, you know, Prismacolors are really good colored pencils. And they had these on clearance for $9. But I have the Walmart app and when I scanned it, it was only three dollars so i was like oh, i have to get that that's a this it comes in this little metal tin to protect them so i definitely had to pick this up if you don't have the walmart app you need to get it and scan anything you're interested in because especially the clearance items because um a lot of times They'll have it marked as this, but when you scan it, it'll come up 
even a cheaper price. It's just a little trick. And they had these erasers on sale. This is a, I think these were a dollar. This is a little troll. Trolls were, were, were real popular. This one that they came out when I was a kid. So it's kind of nostalgic. And I love Disney. So when I saw this Woody, um, and also a lady in our church. Nope, I didn't buy these. She gave these to me. This lady in our church, she knows I love the little erasers. But there was one, this was the one she didn't get because I don't know if she knew, if she thought I didn't like Batman. And I'm, I mean, Batman's not one of my favorites, but it's tiny. So I went ahead and got it. But she gave me these. I thought that was real sweet. Her name's Michelle. She gave them to me. And here's a little Woody. And then here's Harry Potter. That's all in that bag. That was a quick little bag. And moving on. This bag is some of the things that I bought to give to my nieces and my grandson. This is a little Polly Pocket um, set. It was marked down to a dollar. She loves playing with the Polly Pockets. And what I'll probably do is, like for Christmas, just make her a, a grab, sort of like a stocking, but in a box, like a, I guess a mystery box grab bag with all these little things in it and I'll add to it and candies and stuff. Anyway, I thought this was real cute. This is a Mickey Mouse. It's a squishy. It's a mystery pack they had for 75 cents. I'll probably open all these bags at one time with the, the other ones, like the Zoom Zoom. Here's another one. This is a Minnie Mouse. I don't know what character I'll get. And this is a teeny tiny mini farm. I had never seen these, but I thought it was cute supposed to have all these little things in it we'll open I got two of them one to give to her and one for me to open on here so we can see what it is and here's a we're, we're getting my nieces into this calico critter stuff and they had these little baby mystery packs so I got her some of these some more same thing and this is like the farm but it's a teeny tiny mini circus so here's another poly pocket that I got her Another calico critter. Here's another squishy mystery pack. This is bigger. I love squishing these. It's <laughs> another one of these. These were only two fifty. They're usually like, well, let's see. It was four ninety seven, so it was about half price. There's another one. Here's another one of these calico critters. Here's a an eraser set I got for 50 cents. It's a fire truck, a little motorcycle, and an airplane. My grandson loves these, but he's only two, so I probably won't. He's not bad about putting these kind of things in his mouth, but I wouldn't want him to think it was candy or something, so I'll probably keep those. This is a, a dollar. It was a dollar. Moj Moj Crunch. I 
I'd never heard of this, but thought it was interesting, so I said for a dollar we'll just check it out and see what it is. And this is another little mini uh, Shopkins, kind of like the Polly Pocket stuff, but this is the Shopkins brand. Oh, I'm ready for her to open this to see what the inside of that looks like because there's no pictures of it. All right, that's all in that bag. Let me put all this stuff up. Okay, this is Dollar Tree stuff. I got four of these stick-on dots. I like these for accenting different art journals or cards or whatever. This is a like a baby blue or light teal color. And then I got a red color. I got this pale pink color. And then I got this more deeper pink color. I got a steering wheel cover. cover. I thought my car needed one. I actually forgot that I bought this. <laughs> I've been putting these bags back waiting to do a haul video. I forgot all about this. I need to set this aside so I don't forget it. Let's see. I got some skin nutrition. Hyaluronic acid. I don't even remember. It's been so long since I bought this stuff. Doesn't even have a smell at all. I thought it might smell like something. I'll have to read this to see what it's supposed to do. I got two packs of these folders. I like to use these in my storage to put different papers or sticker packs and stuff like that to keep them organized you get two of these envelopes for a dollar they're real good i like it because it's clear and i can see what's in it without having to to open the package and that's that's all that i have for today I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a nice day.